they have these like visions that they they get some old wood and then kind of paint it wait for the paint to dry and then get like a a wire wool scouring pad and have to sit there for hours with bleeding knuckles and trying to make the the uh the furniture look old and distressed old and distressed a bit like me so yeah. Hi again from Budapest this time, a city that you haven't seen me in in any of my other videos but a city that is very special to me because I used to spend a lot of time here and uh, it's a city that everybody should visit so if you've never been to Budapest what are you doing with your life book a plane ticket right now come and visit this city it's um, it's an amazing city somewhere that everybody should visit at least once in their life so do it okay so I arrived at this apartment quite late unfortunately uh, and I'll give you a, a proper tour tomorrow um, after I've had a good rest, hopefully. Uh, but from what you've seen in the intro and what you can see behind me and maybe from this table and floor down there, you can see there's like a shabby chic thing going on, which is, you know, not maybe not my style because it's a bit girly, but I still like it. I can still appreciate the, uh, the beauty in it. And I think the owners have done a really good job here. I think they've um, paid a lot of, ten of attention to detail, not just from the the walls and the floor, but the everything really, the lampshades, the cushions, the bedding, everything is uh, well blended together. And what you might notice as well is uh, the pictures on the wall have a running theme, which I won't tell you right now. I'll wait until the end of the video to see if you've guessed it and then I'll tell you. Uh, one other thing to point out is they have this mezzanine, which uh, is basically, um, it's like where they split one floor into two. A lot of apartments in Budapest have this to save space. It's uh, it's usually turned into, a, into the bedroom area, same as they have done in here, which you'll see in the video in a second. It's a lot more easier to show you than it is to explain. So I'll take you up there right now. And like I said, I'll give you the full tour tomorrow. If anyone can explain how they do that shabby chic thing, then uh, drop a comment in the doopy doop because I'd like to know. Um, I'm, I have these like visions that they they get some old wood and then kind of paint it, wait for the paint to dry, and then get like a a wire wool scouring pad and have to sit there for hours with bleeding knuckles and trying to make the the uh, the furniture look old and distressed old and distressed a bit like me so yeah if anyone can uh comment and explain how that's done that would be cool all right i'll take you upstairs and show you what it's like up there as you can see there's some uh, christmas decorations here that's because it's beginning of december almost christmas here and i'm actually here to see the christmas market amongst other things but it's a great city to visit at christmas time so that's another reason to visit Okay, so here we have the mezzanine, as you can see, there's the downstairs, and here is the upstairs. This one's really good because it's got like a, a high ceiling. There's a lot of um, apartments that I've stayed in Budapest that the ceiling is not so high. So when you're having a, a weird, crazy dream that a 30 foot tall rabbit is chasing you through the woods, and then you wake up with the jolt, you don't hit your head in somewhere like this. And maybe through these uh, pictures, you might guess why the, you might be dreaming about a 30 foot tall rabbit chasing you through the woods. But I'll keep that to myself until the end of the video. 
So tomorrow I will give you the full tour when I wake up and I'll say good night for now. Good morning. So I'm on my way to lunch now. Uh, when I woke up in that apartment this morning, you know how uh, everything was all white or white or white? It makes you kind of feel a bit angelic, don't you think? I don't know if it's because on TV, heaven is always depicted as white. Anyway, so that place was great. Uh, if you like white apartments, then give it a thumbs up. I don't know if you realized what the theme was, Obviously, it was Alice in Wonderland. Uh, if you like Alice in Wonderland, give it a thumbs up for that too. Uh, like I said before, if anybody wants to uh, comment in the doopity doop and explain that shabby chic thing, that would be cool. And before I forget, one more thing. If anybody out there needs a website designing, designing and created for as little as £99, which is an absolute bargain, then head over to the guys at uh, Studio Arts. There'll be a link in the description to get to their website and contact number. Just tell them that you've seen it here and you can get a, a really cool website made for a good value price. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I will hopefully see you in the next one. Ciao.